Hey guys, I thought it would be fun to come on and do something a little bit different today. So we have Stanley here with us and we are gonna be trying out some different wig grips so he can really see what the difference is between some of these wig grips. It's gonna be very much like a new wig wearer's perspective on them. Did that you was see weird. That? Yeah, it did. <laughs> There's a that? ghost. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Stanley. I am Jesse's husband. I take care of all the creative stuff on the back side of the camera. So I do all the video editing and pictures and all that jazz. Um, I know a lot about wigs that I didn't think I was gonna know growing up in life. This wasn't part of my, um, my goals, but um, here we are. So let's see which one fits well. So here, this is a standard wig grip right here I got for you. Do you know how to put this on? You um, should. It he says doesn't know. He's fired. Like this. Go behind the above the ears, behind neck, yeah. around your natural hairline, oh, right? And then we're gonna pull to where your hair starts. If you don't have hair, you would just put it to where you would want your hairline to start. It's soft. It feels really nice on your head. It's gonna protect your scalp. Right? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Some cons though. What do you think would be some cons to this wig grip? I, it feels like Your over knowledge. time it'll kind of rise up and shoot off the back of my head. You would see it if you had like a lace front. You would see this bad boy underneath Ding, it. ding, ding. Not just that, but also because there isn't any lace on this one, um, it might lift a little bit more right here. Like the lace could lift up off your head. <laughs> and it wouldn't look as natural, right? Because you could have a little bit of a gap. So these are nice for certain things. I definitely wouldn't recommend this with a hard front wig. The biggest thing right here, you can tell the difference between these two is going to be this lace front here. And when he puts it on, I'll show you. Oh, okay, nice. you're a side part guy. Yeah. All right, so he shifted. So he shifted his part over to the side because he is a side part guy. Yeah, so you can't get these ones as tight as the full velvet ones because they don't have as much stretch because this lace isn't stretchy. So it'll be a little bit harder for you to get a really nice snug fit. So if you really like them to be super tight and secure, this one's gonna feel a little looser on your head because of the lace. Um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. So you like that one? You don't like that one? What are you doing? I think it's amazing. Okay, all right, moving on. It's nice, yeah. It's yeah? nice, it's not too tight. Okay. I feel like I can go and play tennis with this without like, you know. With like sweatband slash Ooh. wig band, but don't take these to cool, the sweatband. Okay, so here, this one is kind of a different version of a lace front wig grip. So this is from Nell's Wigs, and I really like this one. For me particularly, I have a weird he shaped head, um, especially in the back. And some of these wig grips, the velvet ones especially, they kind of slide up in the back on me. So the thing I like about this one is it has a little elastic band behind it, and you just use a little um, thing to change the sizing of it still, so it is adjustable but it stays on the back of my head a little bit better, but it still has the lace front, so it's kind of nice. What do you think? How does it feel? This one feels okay. I think because they have that little small band, it's not as tight, and it's like, oh, okay, I can wear this. It's also easier to hook that back hook, you know, the one we always hook into the back. It's a lot easier to hook it underneath that mm. than it is underneath this big giant band, I noticed. Like, I feel like it's stuck back there a little bit better. Okay. Moving on. We're gonna move on to some silicone wig grips now, which I'm super excited about. So I struggle with silicone wig grips because this is pretty much standard, gold standard of silicone wig grips, which is this bad boy right here. Most retailers that you buy a silicone wig grip from, you're gonna get this one right here. Put it on your head and then tell me your thoughts and then I'll tell you my thoughts. Oh my God, it's pokey, first of all. I think there's, I think there's hair, okay. Well, there's hair and everything, it's life. All right, let's see. I think it's tight. Yeah. It's really tight. It's oh like God. instant facelift. Do you feel like your face just got lifted up a little bit? Oh, it does, yeah, yeah. Oh, Do you feel like oh, oh, a little young bit again. younger? But after an hour with that thing on your head, I literally have the worst migraine and I want to rip my whole wig off my head. I don't care where I'm at. I'd be at work and I'm like, I can't wear this wig anymore. So I usually take it off. I'll go into the bathroom, take that off, and then I don't have a wig grip on at all for the rest of the day. So then the next one I found, which if you guys are all into Temu, like everyone else is nowadays, it's the next fad. Um, I saw some on there and they were like two bucks, something like that, they're under $3. I'm like, let's try them again, let's see. They have different colors. I got these ones in and what do you think? It's not tight. Tell me thoughts, feelings, concerns. It's not tight. I would, I don't know if, 
I don't know if this could hold a wig on it. But it's not tight. I mean, do you want to put a wig on and see if it'll hold it on there? I don't know. Maybe later I'll put some wigs on. Okay, so you're gonna test these out for everybody. <laughs> so these actually surprisingly work really well. Okay. I really like them. And if you saw the way Stanley was stretching these, they are so stretchy. So if you have a large head and you struggle with wig grips, these are gonna be really good for you. And I bought them in all the colors because I wanted to make sure they were all the same and they are all the same. They all are nice and stretchy. I'll put the uh, link for you guys for all of these things in the description. Um, but these ones are really awesome. And like I said, they're like three bucks and I think they're my favorite. And again, like $3. So if you lose one or you break it, but they, they've been holding up pretty well for me. Next one. Oh, this right here is gonna be like a, oh my God. This is a workout just to pull it apart. <laughs> so this is the Wig Fix. So this is a brand that specializes in these wig grips and they have them in different shades. I really like the shade options they have. They have them in different um, skin tones. So what are your thoughts and feelings? It's tight. Now you have a much bigger head than I do. We will say that. We should measure your head and see what your head circumference is. We've never done your measurements. We need to do that. Um, so this one here, it fits me pretty well, but I have a smaller head. It's not as tight as the original one. Nope. And I do like that this one is a little wider, but it is tighter. So if you have a larger head, I would say it's not large head friendly, but definitely if you're like normal to petite, I think it's a good option. I don't have a big head. Yeah, okay. So this right here is uh, the Firm Grip. And it is a disposable wig grip that you rip off and you can put on. It's a single use, or you can use it a couple times if you want, but like I wear makeup, so it's nice because you can just toss it away. Because my wig grips always have makeup on them and I have to clean them off or wash them. Um, so you rip it off and you put it on. We can even do it together if you want. I'll use this one since you think it's too big. All right, so the directions say you're supposed to take this, put it around your neck, go over here, and then rip it off. You don't want it to be too long because you don't want to waste it. There. Bring it back now, y'all. Look at this. This is like lightweight. Like you feelings. don't feel it. Thoughts and feelings. You don't. You don't feel it. You cannot feel it at all. And do you think it holds your wig? I don't That's think the so. Question. It actually really does. I've tested it out multiple times, it's and I light. still it do the same thing. Light. I hook my wig in like I usually would. He's like, I don't believe you. And it feels like nothing. And it is hypoallergenic. It helps protect your skin and all of that great stuff. It is medical grade. I don't know if it would hold a big wig. Maybe like a small wig. I've tried it. It works really well. You have a big wig with a lot of fluff? Yeah. Uh-huh. Go get it. Right now. Right now. It's right over there. <laughs> do you know how to put it on? Oh, oh man, you're already doing it wrong. Dang. You don't watch my videos, do you? See so you guys, if you watch my videos, you know how to put a wig on correctly. You want me to loosen it? Is it too tight? Oh, that's attractive. What the hell is happening? I'll go ahead and put a link for all of these in the description down below. Like I said, there's kind of pros and cons to these depending on what you're looking for in a grip and also the side of your size of your head is gonna matter a lot. So um, we'll put those down below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little um, wig moment with Stanley trying out some products. Let us know if you guys like this video. Maybe we'll do a couple more where he tries out some other wig products. And if there's anything you guys want him to try out specifically, let us know in the comments below too. And we'll go ahead and see if this is something that we're gonna make regular or if this is Stanley's 15 minutes of fame and that's all he gets. Exactly. Exactly. Oh.